Hi everyone, welcome back to Travel to Dubai. Today I will be sharing everything you need to know as a first time tourist riding the Dubai Metro. The Dubai Metro has become a go-to choice for public transportation due to its accessibility to various destinations, efficiency and affordability. So let's dive into it. As a first time tourist to access any mode of transport in Dubai, you will need a NOL card. Please bear in mind that it is not possible to pay in cash for any means of public transport in Dubai. The NOL card is a rechargeable card. You can use your NOL card to travel on Dubai Metro, buses, Dubai Tram and marine transport modes like water buses. You can purchase the NOL card through the vending machine or from the ticket office desk. Once your NOL card is purchased, here's how to recharge it. So, place the NOL card where it's written NOL. Then on the screen, choose card top up. Then click the amount you want to be recharged and then choose by cash or credit card. Once decided, here you can send the amount if it's by cash. And here if you're doing it through credit card. Once it's done, wait till it gets progressed. After you see the green signal, check the balance and remove the card. There are four types of top-up cards. Red card, silver card, gold card and the blue card. The red card is a one-time pass and cannot be recharged. It is suitable for short stays. The minimum travel fare within one zone is 4 dirhams. 2 zones, 6 dirhams and for more than 2 zones, 8.5 dirhams. The silver card is a recommended option for tourists. Card price is 25 dirhams with 19 dirhams credit. Minimum travel fare within one zone is 3 dirhams, 2 zones 5 dirhams and for more than 2 zones it is 7.5 dirhams. The blue card is recommended for residents of Dubai or people planning to work in Dubai for a very long time. Minimum travel fare within one zone is 3 dirhams, 2 zones is 5 dirhams and for more than 2 zones 7.5 dirhams. The gold card is similar to the silver card but with double the cost per journey. It grants access to gold class VIP carriages in the metro. Minimum travel fare within one zone is 6 dirhams, 2 zones 10 dirhams and for more than 2 zones it is 15 dirhams. You can visit the ticket office or information desk for any inquiry about the NOL card at the station to go to and fare prices. To use your NOL card, simply tap it on the card reader, wait for the beep or look for the green light indicating a successful check-in. At every Dubai metro station, you will discover a detailed platform map with the platform number showcasing nearby metro stations just before reaching the platform, ensuring easy navigation to your desired destination. Dubai map is divided into 7 zones. Each zone contains metro stations, bus stations, tram stations and water bus stations. Zones 3, 4 and 7 contain other areas of public transport including buses. Zones 1, 2, 5 and 6 are the only zones that contain Dubai metro stations. Though Dubai is divided into 7 zones, 3 of them are outside of the Dubai metro area. Every metro station platform features the map of the station you are at, conveniently visible as you enter and exit the metro. Every platform has three cabins, the gold class cabin, the standard cabin and the dedicated women and children cabin. Gold class cabins are private cabins for gold class ticket holders only that have wider leather seats and panoramic views. Second is the pink cabin which is designated exclusively for women and children commuters. Men in this cabin will be fined with 100 dirhams. Lastly, the regular standard cabins can be used by everyone. You can check the arrival time of the next train on the digital display above. Now for my first time tourists who are visiting Dubai, there is an inside look of the Dubai Metro where you find clean seats and ample standing spaces making travel incredibly convenient. You'll find a digital line map that helps you stay informed about upcoming stations. The stations will be announced as well as displayed simultaneously in English and Arabic ensuring a smooth commute.
Consuming food or drinks, smoking and chewing gum are strictly prohibited inside the metro and violators can face fines. The fine for eating or drinking is 100 dirhams while smoking incurs a 200 dirhams of fine. Upon reaching your intended metro station, you can proceed by following the exit signs which will lead you either to the elevator or escalator to your desired metro station. So everyone, I hope this was a useful guideline for first time users of the Dubai Metro. Stay tuned for part 2 where we'll explore tourist attractions accessible from the red line of the metro. And don't forget, keep exploring.